Uh, well, I grew up in a family of musicians. My father is a cellist, my mother is a violinist. And uh, when I was a kid, they suggested I begin uh, uh, an instrument and I chose piano. It was really like something, it, it grew on me more than it was like an immediate, uh, you know, passion. I have some friends and colleagues where it was, uh, music was love at first sight for me. I, I would, as a kid, I, I liked to, I liked to run around and to, to get some energy out of my, my body. So I needed the balance of music and, uh, and, uh, being active. So, but, but music became uh, uh, it more and more my, my whole life. And now, now it is, uh, it, it is my career, but it, it is also my, uh, my whole life. And uh, I'm enjoying every, uh, every bit of it. Just trying to begin to imagine to play Rachmaninoff <laughs> for a piano concerto is already something. Because <laughs> it's, I mean, if not the hardest, one of the hardest uh, concertos of the repertoire on a purely technical level. Um, one of the greatest, just musically speaking, for sure. All the Rachmaninoff piano concertos, they they just like tune in to the human soul. It's like just like a direct. Uh, there's not. I feel like it's 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 uh, very elaborated music, no doubt. But it's very. Uh, uh, I think it's the best music for, especially someone who doesn't know those concertos. There, you can't feel uh, nothing uh, when you listen to that because it is not only a, a, a feat of virtuosity, but it's just gorgeous music, and it's a journey where every event is you you you, you are surprised, and uh, and another beautiful variation or melody come waits you around the corner and just will. Uh, transport you uh, somewhere else so it's just like yes it's just it's just amazing um, music so it's a pure joy it has this english soul but sometimes in very Brahmsian, uh, sometimes Bruchnerian, uh other times almost mozart uh textures so it's really um it's really a fascinating journey and uh, uh and i think it will mirror uh very well the opening piece of the concert because the uh, Bach uh, Passacaglia and Fugue uh, arranged by Sir Andrew Davis because that piece is also somewhat a set of variations so it's it's always fascinating to to when we we go through a set of variations to hear the theme and see how how the inventivity the creativity of the composer and how uh, the someone like Bach or um, Elgar is constantly capable of renewing it and create something new out of something that seems at first so simple. As as you might know, the Sir Sir Andrew Davis was supposed to conduct this concert. And he passed away, so that's how I was invited to to uh, conduct uh, this performance. And um, Sir Andrew Davis is a conductor that I I I admire and. Um, had listened to much of his recordings and it seemed to me it, it I was almost I would say intimidated to uh, to to step up to do this performance and it seemed like one for me I wanted to find a way to to pay tribute to Sir Andrew Davis and it seemed like doing um, when I stumbled on this arrangement of his of the Bach Passacaglia and Fugue it seemed like uh, really a, a nice way to open the concert uh, because he, uh, Sir Andrew Davis was himself an organist and the, the way that he orchestrated this Pasakalian fugue is uh, truly brilliant and quite um, surprising at times because he uses very unconventional instruments that you would not imagine in a Bach piece like vibraphone or xylophone. I think it will be a really a special special moment to venture into his, uh, his arrangement. Yeah.